Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Two Minutes Remaining with Coach Holzer. Well, first of all, I hope you all had a lot of fun at the auction. Looked like a great time. I had a jet out because we had that championship game that we ended up getting the, bringing home the eighth grade trophy. It was a ton of fun being there while I was there. I saw a lot of great costumes, people dressed up. It was an awesome night for St. Therese overall. In P class this week, we're doing a couple of different things. In K through two, they're playing a game called Birds in a Nest. And in this game, they get to work on their communication skills. So it, there's a bunch of hula hoops that are laid out all across half of the gym. And they simply have to ask people if they want to trade hula hoops. And that's level one. So they work on trading hula hoops back and forth, back and forth. And it's a very basic, simple communication skill. And it also builds the power of the voice of saying, yes, I want to trade or no, I don't want to switch. So that way they get to choose if they want to switch or not. And what happens is it's really fun because you'll see multiple kids running around, going around, switching constantly as much as possible. Then in level two, they have to learn how to communicate without using words. So they got to get creative on how am I going to switch with somebody and how am I going to communicate with them if I can't say anything? So again, it builds that another level of awareness on there's multiple ways to communicate. And then level three, we add in the hawks. So that's two people that are not in a hula hoop. Now what they have to do is they have to communicate and they have to focus on timing. If the hawks aren't around, is this a good time to switch? So there's a lot of different layers of communication and working on timing. So that way you stay in your nest and it doesn't get replaced by a hawk. Because if a hawk jumps in your nest while you're trying to switch, then you become the hawk. Then in PE class with third and fourth grade, we are continuing to work on our pickleball skills. This is a great hand-eye coordination activity, working with paddles and hand in, in the they're like pickleballs, right? But you're also working with a partner and their collaboration on how many can they get in a row, how many different ways you can hit the hit the, the pickleball, whether it's a backhand, forehand, and it's just kind of a fun way to bring a different sport to our kids. And thank you to Miss Carolina for coming in and being our guest presenter, which is super fun for the kids to learn something from a different expert besides myself. Finally, in the email below, there's that link for moms to sign up for the Friday night flag football coming in April 28th to play a flag football game against your son. Mothers, this is your chance to get bragging rights on your son as they grow older. You say, remember that time that the moms whooped you in, uh, in flag football? So again, you know, go ahead and sign up for that. The registration is in the link below. Well, that's it for this week, and I hope you all have a great week. See you next week on Two Minutes Remaining with Coach Holzer.